today we're going to attempt to install a ticketing system. This ticketing system is called OTRS. Um, I did a little bit of prep on the server, so we can actually jump right into it here. Um, I want to go into the OPT folder because this folder is um, kind of a prepping space for our um, ticketing system. It's where kind of everything starts. So the first thing I did was actually went to go download the um, um, the package for OTRS. And now I want to actually untar that information. And I'm doing this all within the OT, OPT folder. So I'm going to do an LS. So here's the file that we downloaded. And here's the thing that we extracted. So the next thing that we want to do is get that information um, into that folder because we're going to actually start working in the uh, the folder um, kind of just unpacking the package because the package works uh, as is so once you actually pull that out of the package then you actually have a working version of um, of OTRS. Alright, so I think I have the command right here. So we're going to do a move command. Um, let's see. Alright, I need an OPT in front of that because we're in that directory. Oh, uh, we need to make a directory called OTRS. Uh, this is where our files will be uh, stored at. So, as you see, we have a OTRS folder. We're going to CD into that folder. So this is literally just a extract um, from that folder. So the next thing that we're actually going to do um, is run a initial Perl script to tell us what needs to be configured in OTRS. So we have a whole bunch of uh, failures here. We have Apache, we have Tar. So I'm going to jump down and install a couple of packages and see what we get. So what this is doing is actually downloading uh, kind of the Apache infrastructure uh, we're getting some Perl scripts as well and once we're done with that we're gonna go and actually run this uh, Perl script again to see what all the system thinks it actually has installed alright so we have a lot of good okay's which is good we have some things that are not installed so the next step that we're gonna do is um, we need to create a OTRS user this is uh, important for um, the scripts to run because they literally need a OTRS user. The next thing is we're going to turn OTRS into a web server folder so the web server knows um, what to do with it. And the next step is we're going to copy the sample configuration to the working directory of OTRS. Uh, again, if you're worried about all the commands that I'm actually putting in, remember to look in the description of the video when you're liking and subscribing to this video, uh, and you'll be able to find that. So, we need to make sure that we're still in the OTRS, OTRS working directory, and we're going to set the permissions inside of this directory. So the permissions are set. The next thing is we're going to actually set up the Apache include file to go into the correct locations. So this is failed to create a symbolic link. So let's see if we have an issue here, and we may. Um, let's see. All right, so we're going to attempt the symbolic link again. I went ahead and reinstalled Apache to make sure. Okay, so symbolic link is ready to go. The next command is we're going to 
actually test our Perl scripts out here. We need to restart. Um, Apache to make sure that that's working. All right, Apache restart it. We need to make sure that Perl is enabled. We need to make sure that our web server can read headers. Um, that's fine. And filters. All right, so we're gonna do one more Apache restart. Make sure we didn't crash it or kill it. Uh, so now we need to go into the um, configuration file for MySQL, which that was in one of the install packages that we had here. Alright, I need to switch directories to um, the MySQL uh, folder to get to this configuration. So now that we're finally here, um, we need to tell um, <clears throat> MySQL that we would like to add kind of extra space um, to our SQL server, or MySQL server. Uh, and this allows OTRS and pretty much everything you, that you do to post. Um, so we give it 30 megabytes, uh, 36, and 256 for these variables here. So now that, um, that folder, all right, we're back in the OTRS folder. Um, and again, that's just telling the system that uh, we would like to uh, enable the size of the MySQL post. So what I'm going to do is actually restart MySQL now that I have those configurations in there. Um, and there's one other thing that we need to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to NetPlan. Um, and we're going to do a nano on um, this file here to get our extra port here. Because um, now we're about ready, I believe, to test our server out. Alright, one. Alright. Uh, we need to do a net plan try to save those configurations. It looks like it might have did it. Yep, 10.14.0.104. Um, so in theory, our address would be your IP. Then you're going to do slash OTRS slash installer.pl. So we're going to try this here. I already forgot the 10.14.0.104. And, okay. So now we have our OTS server up. So you can go through the installation. And what this is going to do is install um, the OTRS server for you. And then you're good to go. And then you can actually use this as your ticketing system. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you like this video or other videos or you want more content, uh, that's going to help me gauge what I can bring to you guys. So if there's nothing else, I will talk to you all later. And if you want to see how OTRS works uh, kind of within itself, um, please leave that in the comments as well and we can run through that. Until then, I'll talk to you later.